every time I pull up, I back in. I can't let a nigga catch me lacking. Nah. He was tough on the ground till I caught him in traffic. Yeah. I ain't from Atlanta, but these niggas be capping. Can't yeah. really come about trapping. No. He ain't really standing on that block, he just rapping. I just took a law that was packed in. I'ma make it back off the back end. I'ma make it back. I just made it back two times, I taxed him. Yeah. Flipping pack gymnastics. Whoa. I just hit your bitch, she nasty. She nasty. You know how she get, she a savage. She a savage. I'm a high class nigga, I ain't average. Hey. Young rich nigga, ballin' like the Maverick. Ball. Catching flights, call you back when I'm laughing. Whoa. Yeah. Really getting money, nothing like your baby daddy. Hey. Yeah, I might pull up, but I back in. Need the money, yo. Yeah. What's up, y'all? What's goody? 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 It's your girl ZZ back with another motherfucking video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on my notifications bell, give this video a thumbs up, share this motherfucker, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that shit. All that shit. Oh, right quick, um, shout out to the Money Gang Podcast. Shout out to the Money Game Podcast, Black on Menace, BBO, oh, Black on, oh, no, BOB, 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 and now, shout out to him. Um, go check that out on Audio Mac. Um, just look up uh, Dating Outside the Race. Uh, Money Game Podcast, Dating Outside the Race. I was featured on there. Go check that out. It's cool. Nice little, I think it was like a little 10 minute interview, whatever. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? But the whole podcast is like longer than that. I think it's like an hour, some shit like that, like 30 minutes. It's longer than that. But I got like a little 10 minute interview within that podcast. So shout out to him. Go check that out. Other than that, as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave the link below. I'm going to leave that below so y'all can really go check that out. Just in case. It's easier for you. Leave the link below. Today's video is going to be about um, black women are enablers. All right? And before I even start this video, I just want to, you know what I'm saying, put that out there. That black women are not the only enablers. Black men can be enablers. Shit, everybody can be a goddamn enabler. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to zone in on black women enablers because of my experiences, how I've been an enabler my goddamn self. And, you know, um, just from what I've seen from other black women. You know what I'm saying? Other things that I've noticed black women do. You know what I'm saying? As far as enabling. So, yeah. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so where it really starts with for black women enabling is children. Like, black women really tend to enable children, their children. You know what I'm saying? And I mean this in a way as, like, for example, um, I'll say multiple ways, but one way would be uh, behaviors. Enabling bad behaviors children have. You know what I'm saying? Making up excuses for it. So, like... Uh, I've seen not only myself, you know what I'm saying, experience myself, but even with like other, you know what I'm saying, like my friends, parents in school, you know what I'm saying, as a, as a younger child and like high school, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying, but black parents will come, specifically black mothers, will come to the school and uh, either throw a fit or just deny everything, you know what I'm saying, that their child, that their child might be doing, that the, that the school is trying to tell them that the child is doing wrong, you know what I'm saying, and like I said, I've seen what other, other black mothers do this before, but my own mother did this before, you know what I'm saying, like, me and my sister, uh, me and Amira was fucking, we, we was kind of bad as hell in school, you know what I'm saying, like, it was, well, it was a little bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we was, I'm not going to say we were bad as hell because I knew kids that were kind of fucking, that had worse behaviors than we did, but we did some bad shit too, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got away with a lot of shit because my mom defended us in the bullshit we was doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, because she just, uh, and that's like that with a lot of black mothers because they just know their child. Like, I know my child would do no shit like that. Y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about type shit, you know what I'm saying? Which is understandable. Because, you know what I'm saying, mothers do know their children, but at the same time, like, we love to ignore the fact that children do kind of act differently outside of, you know what I'm saying, when they're not around you anymore, you know what I'm saying, like, my mother just knew we wasn't cursing, you know what I'm saying, at school, we got fucking written up for cursing, so I think one time, like, we was in middle school, and, like, I think we got, like, written up for cursing or some shit like that, and she just knew, like, they didn't say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't we didn't fucking say that or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that huge blood major or some shit like that, but we was cursing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was cursing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was. We did have some. Like, as y'all can see now, I do have a potty mouth like a motherfucker. Derek. You know what I'm saying? It's like, to a point where sometimes I can't even control it. I, oh, I don't even notice me cursing and shit like that. Like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Be saying, be saying curse words all the time. But so, as a child, this was like... You know what I'm saying? Kind of growing. Like, this is what I was growing into. You know what I'm saying? So, I was cursing a lot because, mind you, my mom curses a lot. My grandmother curses a lot. My dad curses a lot. 
my little sister's pretty much curse a lot. Like, it's like kind of like a family thing. Like, all my family had a curses. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Um, and so that's just something that I kind of learned as a child. You know what I'm saying? To, to kind of, that was kind of seeped into my vocabulary, low key. You know what I'm saying? But I knew not to say it around them because I knew I should have been saying it. But when I got to my friends, it was, yeah, bitch. Da, 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 you know what I'm saying? You know, what the fuck you talking about? Then, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a different. Like, duh, you know what I'm saying? But I was more conscious of it around my family because I knew I should have been saying it with them. But around my friends, like, my friends did it too, so it wasn't that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, matter of fact, perfect example in elementary school, I got written up <laughs> for calling this girl inside my class a bitch. I called this, I was in like fifth, I was in like, yeah, I was in fifth grade, matter of fact. This was, matter of fact, this was the year that we had went to South Carolina, like, right before we had went to South Carolina. Whenever, well, I moved out of Maryland and shit like that. So this was my last year in Maryland. And we we fucking, uh, <laughs> I, called this, I don't know why I called this girl a bitch. Like, I think she was, like, talking about me or she was snitching. It was, I don't know, it was some reason I didn't like her. And I called her a bitch on the playground. And so she, her punk ass would go tell a damn teacher <laughs> that I called her a bitch or whatever. And I had this, like, real feminine ass male teacher or whatever. Like, he, I don't know if he was gay or not, but he was real feminine. I do remember him doing that, being that. And I forgot, I forgot what his name was, but he was just like, you do not call other, uh, you do not call no one in this classroom a B. And da 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 you should be using that word B. I'm going to call your mother and da 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 But I don't even know what Ma said for that shit. I just know that I did not get in trouble for that shit. Like, I remember going home and I didn't get no fucking consequences. Like, I didn't, I don't even know, she, I don't even remember her talking to me about that shit. Like, Honestly, I know he called her because he, he did. He did try to call my dad. If he would have called my dad, then like, I would have got my ass whooped. But my mother, like, not didn't get. I didn't. I didn't get a whooping. I didn't get on punishment. Like, I'm pretty sure I just went to like lunch decision that day. Like, I didn't get recess that day, and that was pretty much it. Like, I didn't. That was it. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> mom didn't say shit to me about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I guess she just didn't believe I wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But that was kind of enabling me. To think that shit was okay. That's why I continued to fucking curse. You know what I'm saying? Along with, like I said, my whole family doing it. But that was a way of enabling because she didn't address the issue. You know what I'm saying? But even in ways like uh, girls being like fast, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? We talked about this before. But girls being like being like uh, sexually advanced. I don't know how to fucking <laughs> how to put it. Uh, at a young age, you know what I'm saying? A lot of young girls, like, I know girls who literally had moms that knew they was having sex, and instead of them, like, talking to them about it and, like, trying to figure out why they was doing it at such a young age, like, maybe what they went through, I know girls who literally, who had moms who just like, fuck it, I'm about to put your ass on birth control, didn't give them no option, just put their fucking ass on birth control, and was like, bitch, you gonna be fucking, you ain't about to have no babies up in my house, I'm already taking care of your ass, you ain't about to have no babies, so bitch, do what you wanna do, but I'm putting your ass on birth control, like, dead ass like you know what I'm saying like that's that's how some that's how some of my friends or like some girls I knew in school mothers treated them with sex and so they just really didn't give a fuck they was out here doing the fuck they wanted to do you know what I'm saying it was like my mother, she already knows something I got you know what I'm saying she told me to get on birth control before I even thought about it you know what I'm saying she let me bring niggas over the house like she don't care you know what I'm saying so there are mothers like that as well you know what I'm saying that enable the children to do shit like that instead of trying to dig into their psyche of why why do you feel the need to be so promiscuous why do you you know what I'm saying why do you feel the need to get this sexual attention from boys why do you you know what I'm saying like instead of wanting wanting to dig inside of that part of their psyche they just be like well fuck it as long as you have no babies it don't matter even with like um not even girls but for like boys you know what I'm saying I've had boys I've, I've had guy friends should I say who've had like um, anger management issues, something like that. And honestly, girls can do that too. You know what I'm saying? Because I was, I had that problem. I had like anger management issues, shit like that, which, which my mom never really addressed either. You know what I'm saying? Which is something I had to grow up and kind of deal with now. You know what I'm saying? That and, and figure out and dig in my own psyche, like why the fuck am I? You know what I'm saying? Why do I react like this when I get mad? Why did I used to do this? Why do I feel? You know what I'm saying? But back then, it was a whole thing. Like it was kind of ignored. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody really ever. You know what I'm saying? Not even my mom, but like nobody really ever kind of addressed it, should I say, until now when it's now when I got older, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like a year or two ago and shit like that when I started, when I got my first argument with my sister and my, I really curved with my brother for the first time or some shit like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, oh, like, oh, you, 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 you disrespectful, you did it up. But it's like, I've been like this throughout my whole life. 
y'all just didn't say nothing about it. So now I'm older and I can say what the fuck I want to. I don't, I don't, now I feel like I don't got no boundaries because now I'm older. Now it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Well, it should have been a problem when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? We should have addressed this when I was younger. That way the problem would have, it wouldn't even been a problem now. I would have been, you know what I'm saying? Fixed it then. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all would have helped me fix it then. But even when, when, uh, when you get these, these kids that come out of school, you know what I'm saying? And people start and, and they grow up, you know what I'm saying? And shit, a lot of times black women, I know this is whole stereotype that black kids turn 18 and they get kicked out the fuck house, which is kind of true. You know what I'm saying? Like there is a lot of black kids that turn 18 and then their parents is like, deuces, homie. You know, you don't, <laughs> you gotta go grow the fuck up. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Either go to college, you better get a job. You better go out on your own. You know what I'm saying? They kind of push them out the next two, a little too fast. But you gotta like, think about it because a lot of there is a lot of black families and black mothers specifically or even grandmothers more specifically who enable their children not to do that you know what i'm saying like i know grandmothers who have shit mine is one of them you know what i'm saying who used to have men you know what I'm saying? like family members men women whatever the case may be always in and out the fucking house, living there for a few months and leaving. They're, they're like, my grandmother's house was like that for a while. I know other people who grandmothers is like that, you know what I'm saying, who have like, grandkids live with them and then they move or then they come back and then somebody else live with them, whatever the case may be. Like, they're always, and grandmothers are really like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, grandmothers are big enablers too, you know what I'm saying, which is where the mothers get these, these, uh, behaviors from us from their, from their mothers, you know what I'm saying, which are the grandmothers. But grandmothers are big enablers too, you know what I'm saying? So, and I know a lot of people who take advantage of their grandmother specifically, calling them for money, you know what I'm saying? They call their grandmother for money and shit. They ain't got no damn job, ain't doing nothing with their life, but they call their mother to bail, they call their grandmother to get them out of jail or the motherfucking, let them borrow some money so they can get some, get some shoes or go out or get some fucking food or they pushing their kids off on them, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get them to watch them every goddamn week or weekend, you know what I'm saying? And they take advantage of that and grandmother's don't do anything about it, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's one, because they're old, so old people are, are usually a little more passive, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, it's like, they allow that shit to happen, you know what I'm saying, like, passive or not, you're like, you're allowing them to take advantage of you, you allow them to kind of use you as a pushover to get what the fuck they want, and that's not helpful at all, especially to younger, to younger children, especially with this generation with young moms and young fathers, you know what I'm saying, Shit, that happens with, even with the mother. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of these young mothers out here will dad get their mother or the, or the father. You know what I'm saying? Mother or father. If would they get their mothers to kind of be raising their children? You know what I'm saying? Will almost be with their children more than fucking they are. Like that's a. I know plenty of motherfuckers like that. Like I know plenty of young mothers. That I know I know a lot of young mothers like that. You know what I'm saying? That do that. And it's a sad. It's a really a sad sight to see because you're not even raising your own fucking child. I mean, sure it's the person who raised you. But, you know, like, so it's close to home, but it's still like, damn, like, that's your child. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should, you should be raising your fucking child whether you, 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 you young or not. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that because, you know what I'm saying, when you're, when you're young, of course, you're going through a, a real, so when you're in your 20s specifically, and you're in your prime, you're going through a real selfish phase. You know what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of young adults, should I say, like me, have abortions around my age because they feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, yo, I'm too young for this shit, bro. I ain't even did this. I ain't even did that. And I'm about to have a whole fucking kid. Like, bro, I can't no fucking kid right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, so, it's coming from a real selfish place, which is true. And I should have said that inside that abortion video. Because that's where a lot of that thinking of me of me w w wanting to do that or would, would want to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's coming from. It's just coming from a place of selfless, selfishness. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not ready for to be selfless. When you become a mother, you become selfless. It's not about you no more. It's about a whole motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? A whole nother person. It's not about you. I'm not ready for it not to be about me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm still I'm still trying to let it be about me. Nigga. I'm still worried about me only. You know what I'm saying? So that's really where that, where that place of self, where that place is coming from, from a place of selfishness. Where that, I mean, where that idea is coming from, it's from a place of selfishness. So, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that, that affects them, want, I mean, them watching and taking care of their kids. They push them off on not only their mothers, but other people, shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's a form of enabling because you're let, their, their mothers and their grandmothers are letting them do that. You know what I'm saying? And it's partly because these mothers and grandmothers kind of think like, I would rather take care of them than they put, than they put them inside a daycare or they put them somewhere else and they fucking... You know what I'm saying? Something happens to them or they around a bad influence, whatever the case may be. I'd rather them just be around me. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Like, that's still my grandbaby. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of, 
Of course, grandma was like, that's my baby. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they, they, they claim the damn baby before the baby even get there. Like, no, that's my baby. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's that. there's that too. But it's still a form of enablement because they're not letting them grow into that. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're tw in your 20s, you have to, and you're not at a place of selfishness, I mean, selflessness, you have to get into that. The only way you're going to get into that is if you take a responsibility for your own fucking child and you... You know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do. Like, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Miss, miss them parties. You know what I'm saying? You can't go out with your friends. Save that bread. You can't just be going to fashion them and getting shit all fashion over every week. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go through those, go through that shit to get to, to the place of selfishness. You gotta take those little steps, man. You know what I'm saying? And do what the fuck you gotta do. And that's a lot of grandparents and mothers don't allow that shit, don't allow their daughters to, to, to get through that. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't uh, let them take their time getting through that when they should be you know what I'm saying? Kind of ex expedited getting through that process more than anybody else because you have a fucking child. But not only that, you have this thing of like, especially when you turn like 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? You're just getting out of school and you're going through this phase of like, you kind of got to realize that you're, you know what I'm saying? That you're not grown or that you're, you're trying to get to a place of being grown, but you're still like young. You're still kind of a kid because you're doing, you're making childish decisions the scissors, but that can that can end you up in fucking grown up motherfucking places. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, something like even little things like smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Like in high school, you don't really worry about that because you can call it smoking weed in high school. Like I got called by smoking weed in high school by the fucking police and nigga, they ain't do shit but call off fucking parents sick to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Like that's usually what they gonna do when you. You know what I'm saying? When you young, you in high school, they gonna call your parents sick to the crib or make your parents come pick you up in the case may be. But you're not gonna usually get a fucking. You know what I'm saying? The whole record. From smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? Especially, it, especially if you ain't got no like real weed on, you ain't got a whole ounce of some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got no, you just got a blunt or something on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you just smell like weed, whatever case. Maybe they gonna call your parents, and that's that's just gonna be that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even put your ass on scared straight or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't gonna get no real consequences from that. But when you get outside of school, when you turn 18, when you 19, nigga, you catching the citation, my nigga. You can catch a charge. You got enough weed on you. You know what I'm saying? They gonna take, they can take your ass to jail. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do community service for that shit. You gotta go to fucking drug classes for that shit. You gotta pay a $500 fine for that shit. And you don't really find that shit out until the shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and my sister had to go through that shit. You know, me, shit, me and my sister, my older brother, damn near all of us had to go through that shit. You know what I'm saying? And find that out the fucking hard way. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas had to get, so niggas had to get citations. Niggas had to get charges. You know what I'm saying? Niggas found out the hard way about riding around with fucking weed. Niggas had to get searched multiple fucking times. <laughs> get the fucking, get out the car and get searched multiple times. Niggas found weed in the car multiple times. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, niggas, they got DWI for driving some fucking driving high or some shit like that. Or DUI, whatever the fuck it is, for driving high. You know what I'm saying? So, we had to go through those experiences to, to learn that. But, see, the problem is a lot of kids like to stunt on their parents. Like, oh, I'm grown. I'm da-da-da-da. I'm this, I'm that. And as soon as they get in trouble, they run it back to mommy. Oh, mommy, can you bail me out of jail? Mommy, can you pay my court fees? Mommy, can you do this? Mommy, can you pay for my license? Mommy, can you get my car back? Mommy, can you, you know what I'm saying? They want to do or they want to run back. And that's the form of enabling, too, because you got to let them kind of struggle. You got to let them go through that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of parents out here, a lot of, a lot of mothers mothers more specifically that will let them i mean they will not let them let not let their kids go through that type of shit you know what i'm saying because they still have that same mentality of oh my baby didn't do nothing oh my baby is innocent oh my baby did it oh i gotta save my baby you know what i'm saying when sometimes you just gotta let their ass drown so they can learn how to swim my nigga you know what i'm saying like real shit you gotta just gotta let their ass you gotta let them see like oh they looking to you for four hundred dollars for this damn coffee not for me your ass going to jail if you don't pay that money. Not me. You know what I'm saying? Your ass is going to drug classes. Not me. You know what I'm saying? You got to find a way to work. Not me. So, and a lot of parents don't allow their children to, to kind of go through that struggle. You know what I'm saying? A lot of parents do. Don't get me wrong. But there are some really spoiled children who don't get to go through that. You know what I'm saying? Who have who rely on their parents for fucking everything. You know what I'm saying? And then grow up and don't have no real common sense because they fucking... Been relying on their parents so go that so goddamn long. They go, oh, they gotta wait till they get a lot older to really exp to experience real things on their own. But even looking at like uh, grown women, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as like, I think this is probably the one of the easiest ways to to see enable uh, an enabling black woman is 
just <sighs> cheaters. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to make this whole fucking thing about black men being cheat cheaters and no shit like that. But any man they're with, you know what I'm saying? And I know this from experience. I've talked about this plenty of times. <sighs> God, I'm sick of talking about it. But nigga, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I went through that myself, you know what I'm saying? But black women, like, there is a lot of black women who will stay with the man who is cheating on him repeatedly and will get this mentality like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's okay for him to cheat as long as he's not around me or as long as he's providing, it's okay for him to do this. So, like, you know what I'm saying? We'll find any enabling way, you know what I'm saying, to make it okay as long as they're getting something out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as I'm, number, as long as I'm his number one, I'm his main chick, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? As long as he's, he got money, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? As long as he paying for my car note, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, these women still don't be really happy with what they have. They still want that man all to himself. But it's like, you know what? He's a good man, quote unquote. So I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let this little thing just, just get out of proportion. I mean, I'm not going to let this little thing break us up because... I just don't want him to do that. You know what I'm saying? When they say, uh, not all the I'm not going to even say uh, not sometimes, but usually the same energy isn't given in return. So if you cheat on that nigga once, snip, snip, like that nigga's going to cut you the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no enabling with men. Men don't do that type of shit. There ain't no, okay, well, she cooked me dinner, so I'm going to let her slide with cheat. I'm going I'm to let, let her fuck with a couple niggas. So you know what? She, she, she paid for my, she paid for my fucking haircuts every week or some shit like that. So, so I'm a let her slide. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? She she a good woman. She got a good job and a good head on her mind. And she going places. So I'm a let her slide. Men don't think like that. Men is like, bitch, you cheat. It's, it's over. Like, I don't give a fuck if it's just once, bitch. It's, it's over for you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men can't put they... You know what I'm saying? It's hard for them to, to really forgive a woman for doing that shit. Even if it just happened one fucking time. It's hard for men to fucking do that. You know what I'm saying? To think of another man... You know what I'm saying? Dominating their woman like that. Like, they, 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 their egos will not let them, for a lot of times, will not let them fucking forgive them for that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So they don't get that same energy in return, but women are so willing to do that. You know what I'm saying? We're so used to having that enabling mindset that it's okay. Like, we're going to, it's okay. I'm going to let that slide. Or I'm going to just ignore that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ignore that behavior, which is, like I said, going, going back to children. You know what I'm saying? You learn that mindset from your mother. Your mother's doing that to you. You learn that from your mother. And so you pass that on to your children or who you deal with. You know what I'm saying? Because, shit, a lot of times you might see that inside your parents' relationship. You might see your dad and your mother, you know what I'm saying? Your dad doing bad, having bad behaviors, but your mother just ignoring it because he does this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Prime mother of example. Motherfucking example right here. You know what I'm saying? My father was fucking... It was a nut sometimes. That nigga was on some bullshit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of behaviors my mother ignored or chose to, you know what I'm saying, stick with or, you know what I'm saying, just let us continue to be around because for the sake of us because she wanted us to, you know what I'm saying, she wanted us to have a father in life and us to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get the whole concept. You want to stay with your, your husband and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get that. But at the same time, that subliminally programmed us to think, like, that shit was okay. You know what I'm saying? Up until she left, but then... Even when our stepfather, like, you know what I'm saying? It was just certain shit that we subconsciously took in. You know what I'm saying? Thinking, like, that's okay for a man to do. And that's some shit, that's shit that I have to recognize now that I now have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? That I now have to look, dig into my psyche again and be like, you know, like, that's not okay. Or I think that's okay because, I only think that's okay because such, such as happened, such as just happened when I was younger and that nothing really came from that. Or my mother didn't say nothing about that. Or this didn't happen. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, so... All of these things kind of build up until until what you until a, until you get to a grown woman and then you do these things with the person you're with. You know what I'm saying? Subconsciously or fucking consciously. Whether you know what I'm saying, whether you do it knowingly or not. What else y'all think in the fucking comments? Do you think black women are enablers? Do you know any black women that are enablers? You know what I'm saying? Have you did you grow up with a black woman with a black mother who was an enabler or grandmother? Whatever whatever the case may be. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Leave your thoughts below. Well, other than that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Get a video thumbs up, share this motherfucker, all that shit, all that shit. The heaven the Other than that, that's nah, all I got. That is not the kind of sport. They tell lies, selling themselves short. I improvise, leaving no remorse. How to survive and not end up the corpse. Before you leave the porch, know how to hold the fort. Was it born with a silver spoon or fork? 
quit procrastinating and put down the pork. Humble hustler, ain't no telling.